This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for his grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakradash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I want to put some emphasis on the words saints, elect, and also chosen, because the scriptures tell us, through thy precepts I get a good understanding. So when you come across these words, by way of the Holy Spirit working with you, and you knowing the precepts, you will understand whom these scriptures are written to. Case in point, when we come out of this here, we should be thinking, well, who are the saints, who are the elect, and who are the chosen? Well, Psalms chapter 50 verse 5 tells us, gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Now, who did the Lord make a covenant with by sacrifice? The children of Israel. As we see here in Exodus chapter 34 verse 10, he made that sacrifice with us when we were in the wilderness after we had came out of Egypt. It states here, and he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people. I will do marvels such as has not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation, and all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord, and the Lord in all caps is Shehawah, for it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. Now let's come out of this here, and let's go back. Now that we know and we confirm who are the saints, right? But let's get more scriptures to further substantiate our point. In the book of Psalms, Psalms 148, verse 14, it tells us, He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel. I'm going to say it again. Even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Let's come out of this here. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. So we're starting to see who the saints are, who are the chosen. It tells us here, Yet now, hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Line upon line, precept upon precept, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 4, and it tells us, For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have been called. You got to consider something. It tells, us, it tells us this. I have even called, <clears throat> I have even called thee by thy name, because the name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, the name of the son is Yahweh Shai, and our name is what? We're Yasha Allah. We're princes of the power, right? I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. See, so you start to see who are the elect, who are the chosen, right? Who are his saints? Isaiah chapter 41, verse 8 through 9, and it reads, But thou, Israel, are my servant, Jacob, in whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief of men thereof, and said to thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. You see who the Lord's chosen are? It's not just anyone. It's a specific group of people, a specific lineage, a specific race. Let's come out of this here, right? The word saints, I did a word search here. The word saints comes up 95 times, 95 instances. So now when you read throughout the scriptures, the Old Testament and the New Testament, especially when you get in, you know, the New Testament, when you start to go into those books of Acts, Romans, the Corinthians, so on and so forth. And as you can see here, every time the word pops up, saints, it's referring to whom? The children of Israel, you know? Something, a scripture that I enjoyed when it's in Philippians chapter 4, verse 22. All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are of the household of what? Caesars. They are of Caesar's household. So that, that tells you these were Israelites that were living, because remember, part of the curses, we would be scattered into the four corners of the earth. Right? And just scrolling down, you can do the same word search too as well. You'll see, man, that all these scriptures, all these books that were written unto us because we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, north, south, east, and west. You know, let me come out of this here because you can look more into that in your own time. But when you go to the book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 12, 
It reads, here is the patience of the saints, a.k.a. the children of Israel. Right now, the elect. Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High in the faith of Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.